And welcome back to Jeff Krenange live at the Villa Rosa Kempinski. What a show we have for you today. I tell you, when Miguna Miguna shows up, let's see the come baby come or go baby go. This man spares nobody, calls it like he sees it. Tweets coming in very thick, very fast. The uh, Twitter handle is at Krenange. Jeff, please use the hashtag Miguna Miguna. Michael Shira, you say, Hi, Jeff. Please ask Miguna to vie for governor of Nairobi. We will elect him. Felix Akoko says, The way forward is for Miguna Miguna to face the governor and the president and tell them the truth. Not on TV. Tell them the truth. Arthur Amesa Otia says, I would definitely vote for Miguna Miguna for president, governor, even MCA. <laughs> That's funny. Kapuliaka says, I love this guy. The bench is smoking. I can vote for him as Nairobi governor. Miguna. Yes. you got a constituency, man. They've turned around. You've turned them around. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because you never stole. You know, that's the bottom line. I never stole. And right? I tell them the truth. You never stole. And I've not changed. The story has not changed. They thought I would change my story. But, Jeff, I wanted to talk about uh, another scandal. The IEBC. Yes. Is another great disappointment. Does it need to be disbanded? It should be disbanded. It should be You know disbanded. they're asking for like 10 billion or 20 no, billion? No, no, no. And you know, in Canada, they are not even using half of that to run an election. A bigger country. Canada is the second largest country in the world after Russia. And they don't use that kind of money. And these people who can't even turn on a BVR kit mm. want how many billions? They're jokers. And look at what they did with the Waitangula case, because mm. this is sad. Mm. Here is a situation where a petition went to an election court, which is the high court. Waitangula is found to have bribed voters. That is now a finding that has been affirmed by the Court of Appeal yeah. and affirmed by the Supreme mm. Court. So it is a fact that Waitangula bribed voters, is a briber. Yeah. So it's corrupt. Now, and he's the one who appealed. Okay? Yes. Previously, it was his opponent who appealed. Then he appealed to the Supreme Court. Once you are declared to have violated the Election Act, the law is that your name should be sent for gazettement, and then a letter should be sent to the IBC so that they shall delete the name. It is not well. It is not that they will constitute a committee to, to, to hear Wetangula again. Mm. Wetangula got three chances of a hearing. And he won all three. It, and he lost all three. He was found to have bribed voters at the High Court. He was found to have bribed voters by the Court of Appeal. He was found to have bribed voters by the Supreme Court. But he won the Just case, wait. Miguna. No, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Do you remember Wetangula went for a by-election? Yes. So how did he win? And he got re-elected? He got re-elected, but he should not have been allowed to contest. That was the first mistake. The first mistake is that Wetangula was allowed to re-contest. He should not have been allowed. But they argued that because he had appealed, let the appeal run its course. Once his name was sent, they, sh they should have deleted his name Automatically. So why was he still on? Why, why well, just he... wait, wait. So these people brought a confusion. They are saying that Wetangula was not charged criminally and convicted of a criminal offense. A violation of the Elections Act is not a violation of the Penal Code. There are two. Mm. Uh, one is a Penal Code, one is the Election Act. A violation of the Election Act shall lead to your name being deleted. Then the police and the DPP could choose to prosecute Wetangola. Mm. Then he could also be convicted on the strength of the previous findings. Now, the revolving door of corruption decided that Wetangola will not be charged and Wetangola will not be prosecuted. So Wetangola was not prosecuted. Now, the Wiley Orengo then goes to the IBC mm. where everybody is compromised and very incompetent. Almost everybody. I cannot say everybody, but almost everybody. Yeah. And then the committee listens to him. First of all, why are they hearing Wetangola? Because he wants to be president. They have no mandate to hear Wetangola. 
They have no mandate to rehear the allegations of bribery against Wetangula that a high court, a court of appeal and Supreme Court have already decided this is an inferior body. They cannot overrule the Supreme Court. So now they preside and they decide that because he was not convicted criminally, his name should not be deleted. But the deletion of the name is not a criminal act. So there are two streams here. Then Orengo argues under the penal code yeah. and confuses these people to think that they should have been acting on the basis of a conviction which should have gone through the DPP. Mm. Do you understand? So what do you think? I mean, I so, so if they could not get Wetangula right, they cannot get a presidential election right. That is my argument. IABC. They cannot. Can, but Wetangula wants to be president, you know that? No, that's a joke. Wetangula cannot be president. Why not? I told you already, rotten to the core. Come on. He cannot be. Wetangula? Wetangula will never be president of the Republic of Kenya. Take my word. William Ruto? William Ruto will not be president. Why not? Too dangerous. For Kenya? People are scared of William Ruto. Why are they scared of him? Everybody is scared of William He's Ruto. He's a teetotaler. No, a teetotaler. Did you listen to this interview that he did with Hussein Mohammed? The man is a demagogue. He went on and on and on and could not allow Hussein Mohammed to ask any single question. He even told Hussein Mohammed, you should be asking this question instead of what you have asked. Now, if he's doing that, he's only deputy president. What would he do when he's president? The journalists will come in, they will be given uh, already prepared questions, yeah. and he will be standing there with already prepared answers, and they will be asking the questions he's already prepared. And if you ask a question that's all on the list? Then you will go to detention. So, I, I don't think that these are solutions. Mm. Yeah. Baba. Baba is too, com too compromised. Come on, by what? L look at the... Who, who supports him? Joho. You know what Joho does for a living. A governor. Uh, you know what he does for a living. Everybody a knows. No, everybody knows what he does for a living. <laughs> then, then, um, wow, you, everybody knows. Oh, geez, then, no, then, no, I mean, look at his people. Look at Shajad. I don't know who the people he gets money from. Uh. The man is completely compromised. And he's a coward. And he's disorganized. And he's disciplined, indisciplined. He's too old. He's confused. He should retire and become the new council of Edla's chairman. Mudavadi, Madivides. He's a friend of mine. I think he has a chance. To be president? I actually like the man. Do you? I like the man. I think that if properly uh, managed, Mudavadi could become governable. Yeah, I, I give Mudavadi a bit of... Uh, uh, I, I tip my hat yeah. off. The other day he made a statement. Yeah. I, I communicated with him. He responded very positively. I know that he's a person who listens. Okay. So that's a good thing. Peter Kenneth. Peter Kenneth is a young, bright man uh, who has a lot of promise. I can't write him off. Martha Karua? Completely gone. Rubbish. Martha Karua is worse than William Ruto. Oh my goodness. Yes. You just didn't say that? Yes, I said that. Why? You know her. Huh? You know what the she did Iron to... lady? What did she do to the judge? Be... Is it B. B. Karyuki, the one at oh, the yeah, Court yeah, of B, Appeal? BJM or BM. Or whatever yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah. But the matter went to court, the court found. How did she treat uh, her former boyfriend? That is, and she was Minister of Justice. She abused her power. Ooh. Now there was this thing of uh, the tobacco thing. And then you know what she did during the 2007 uh, election? Yeah. Even the fact that Raila can still talk yeah. and sit in the same room with that woman disqualifies both of them. By the way, they have no ethics, they yeah. have no morals, they have no position, <laughs> they, 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 so, they are opportunistic. Okay. The incumbent, President Uhuru Kenyatta. He will not be re elected if he does not deal with corruption. I'm he already has to deal that. with it. Yeah. He has to deal with it. Uhuru generally is a good man. Uh, I mean, I, I've dealt with him, I've, I've, I've related to him. Uh, I get the feeling that. His, his heart is in the right place. But he's not disciplined enough. And he needs to be disciplined enough. He's not surrounded by people who are disciplined also and focused. Mm. And who prioritize Kenya? Who has something called the national agenda for the country? Not, not for their stomach. Yeah. But he has too many uh, auctioneers 
surrounding him. And I think he needs to get rid of that. So who's the one person you think can be the next president of Kenya? I can't say that. I, I'm not prescriptive. I've already told Kenyans the type of leader they want. Any one of us can fit that bill if we are able to sell our agenda and the country agrees with us. Would you run for Nairobi governor? Yes, of course. You would? I would. You know the last time I almost did? I know. Yeah. Text here from my good friend Robert Alai. Yes. He says, Tell me, Kuna, that I was arrested mm. for what he said on JKL. I know. What he said on JKL. I know. Why can't they come about for Wako's me? degree. No, I know. I went to the same university as this man. He posted that he went to the university and got a BED. And I said, How? Did, he didn't. So why are they harassing a, a lie and they're not coming for me? He didn't get a BED? There was no BED at Nairobi University. So how could he have gotten it? There's no bed? There was nothing. It had gone to Kenyatta. And I was there. You see, Ali was not there. So they can harass him. Yeah. But me, I was there. Let him prove to me which class he sat, which teacher taught him. BED. Because I was there. And I was his leader. Come on. I was a student leader. So why leader. was Ali arrested? Because Ali has also become a nuisance. You know, Ali has abused even people like me. He pirated my book with with people in the Prime Minister's office and the Nation Media Group. He has done many things. Mm. So he, he has also exposed himself. He has become too much of a loose cannon. He's an, an anarchist. So an anarchist can die by many means. Mm. Yeah, so I, I don't really sympathize with him. No. Because I think you die with the same sword that you attack other people with. You live by the sword. Yeah. You die by the sword. Correct. Dr. David Matsanga, mm -hmm. he's weighing in tonight. What is he saying? He's saying... Jeff, I like this man, Miguna Miguna, when it comes to facts. I agree with him on the Grand Moolah. Why is it that every problem in law in Kenya rotates around the Grand Moolah? Yeah, I can't comment on, on what he's saying, but I've made my comment on the, the so-called Grand Moolah. <laughs> uh, we don't get along, me and the so-called Grand Moolah. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I, don't, I don't trust people who are dishonest. You don't? Yeah, how did he make his billions himself? Let him start with his own life audit. But nobody seems to question the grand moolah. Well, I am. I am. The man can't speak proper English. The man can't write. Completely incoherent He's and illogical. He's publisher of Nairobi Law Monthly. No, so what? You are publisher because you have money. But it doesn't mean you have the, 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 the credentials. It doesn't mean you are intellectually uh, gifted. He is not intellectually gifted. He's hired because of the same, same problem that he's accusing Kidero of. He's known as one of the people, one of the lawyers that are very good at corrupting the judiciary. He himself. The Grand Mullah. He's one of them. So how come he keeps getting work? He keeps getting work because he can, get, he can process the, the files. The same way Kidero was able to process them. Kidero's going to sue you, you know that. How can he sue me? What have I said that uh, other people have not said? And it would be good when a corrupt person sues you and he has a thousand cases of people he has stolen from. Mm. All the Kenyans in Nairobi will come as my witnesses. You know, the border border drivers, you know he has uh, run afoul of them. Mm -hmm. The hawkers, the citizens yeah. who are dying, choking of uh, garbage and, and no services. Yeah. I mean, I, I would love it. Even taxi drivers would be Let him side. come and spend more money and then he will give me cost at the end of the day. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> uh, there's a wonderful friend of mine called Mama Kenovia. Mm -hmm. She says, Miguna Miguna should come again and again. He has lots of truth and she agrees with you. Thank you. Bottom line, Tunoi, does he need to be jailed? Does he need to be prosecuted? Tunoi should have been prosecuted 2014. Probably even earlier, because you know, if you've read George Kegoro's articles in The Nation, Sunday Nation, mm. he has given a very good case that this man has always been um, mired. followed and yeah. mired yeah, yeah. In, in controversy. Mm. Controversy that points to a dubious kind of character. He says that uh, apparently he bought 200 acres and, and 2,000 goats uh, uh, from a salary of 700,000. And he says he has 15 million in their account. That does not buy 200 acres in the Rift Valley. No. So he would have to explain how he got that money to buy that in, in one instance. Do that math. And in any event, in this instance, 
this gentleman knows him says he worked with him yeah got money he shared the money with his fellow justices and miscarriage of justice was perpetrated he should go to jail but tell me something Miguna. if jeffrey kipler got the journalist yes if he had gotten the 30 million he was supposed to have gotten yes we would never be hearing about this no case. no no that is hypothetical and you know these things always happen like this to catch the mafia you have to infiltrate the mafia you have to hire one of them so you're dealing with crooks to catch bigger crooks that's completely legitimate mm. to catch terrorists you infiltrate the terrorists so you must use a terrorist to catch a terrorist mm. so here you have a group of thieves and you you've used the small one to catch the, the the fat ones that's beautiful it works oh it works and, and this it, and this guy yeah. should be given a commendation for what he did notwithstanding the fact that he was part of the deal as a whistleblower he, he has he has done a good job well, why guru also said she was a whistleblower she didn't she didn't whistleblow anything the treasury did remember yeah it is not her the treasury wrote to her she might be the next governor of nairobi she can't i don't think she can i don't think she. i can. didn't ask you one other person and she friend. wanted lighter duties <laughs> governorship is not a lighter duty it is heavier than being a cs so if she doesn't even know what a fun what the role of a governor is mm. and calls it a lighter duty mm. she's not ready to be governor mm. and we need her to explain to us what the toys in our office that were bought for three hundred thousand a million were yeah. doing yeah yeah and the, and the piano and what sex education they were conducting in a, in a cabinet office hello let's not go there <laughs> Begun, I didn't ask you about this person for president. I'm going to ask you now before we wind up. Mm. Chief Justice William Mutunga. He might want to run for president. No, he can't. Mutunga is too much of a coward to run for anything. Come on. I know the man is a coward. He can't. Mutunga is now, he wants a beautiful exit and he could do it. Right now he can redeem his, uh, his tattered. Between uh, now and June? He, he can redeem a bit of his tattered legacy by doing the right thing, by cleaning the judiciary at least the supreme court making sure that they all go home that would be beautiful mm. and he can go home with them and get a new supreme then court then he will get a job with the international community or with ngos and what no That's but he what did he that knows. already it's been there done no that. no no he will do that ford foundation i know him he will go around the, the world giving speeches saying it was very difficult working with rotten with, with the rotten judiciary and yeah. all manner of things yeah, and a bandit economy yeah he can say that but he's the one who has pre who, who has been presiding over it his legacy why is he saying that five months before he leaves because why, why does he, why does he continue to sit with rawal who has passed retirement mm. age to Noi, who is past retirement age yeah. and have refused to go and is the chairman of the jsc what kind of leader is this is he a leader and it's in the constitution so the man age is not of 70. He, he's not a leader because he's the president of the supreme court he's the chief justice he wears three hats the president of the supreme court yeah the chief justice yeah. and chair of the JSC. he has never asserted himself and used this power that he was given by the constitution mm. to reform it so he can't be president would be a thorough and mitigated disaster <laughs> if you think president uru is a dither yeah his lethargic is indiscipline now come willie mutonga it would be a horrible state house at least we have margaret who seems to be very disciplined yes who is a very decent first lady amazing in mutunga's house there is no first lady so you will have just have con total confusion <laughs> you know at least if a man is confused and he has a beautiful organized woman yeah. the house will be organized <laughs> as we wind up this very smoking show that's your camera over there miguna Yes. final thoughts final thoughts going forward because i know you have a vantage point a lookout post from canada you never miss a thing i know that mm. you never miss no anything. i read everything you read everything i read everything whether it's social media or not even though you're not on twitter no Facebook, there are a lot of people who share those things with those me. parodies yes. but you have a lot of people who share stuff with you yeah and you don't miss a thing all right go don't. on final thoughts my final thoughts are this actually two first of all i would want to actually three because we didn't do this. Mm. I would want to express my sincere condolences to 
um, the families of the soldiers that lost their lives in Somalia. Thank you. These are brave men and women that have dedicated their lives to protecting us. And when they die so uselessly in um, the discharge of their uh, national duty, it is only right that we express condolences. And we hope that the government will do whatever it has to do to get to the bottom of what happened and to make sure that it can prevent further tragedies from happening. And I also wish that the government will initiate a process of bringing our soldiers home. I think Somalia is becoming uh, a debacle and we don't need a debacle. The second issue is to address the President of the Republic of Kenya. Mr. President, we are watching you. We gave you a mandate for five years. It was not a blank check. We had a contract with you. You have responsibilities and duties to discharge for the country. And you have, four years on, failed spectacularly. We would like you to get a grip of yourself and slay the ogre of corruption. Because if you don't, it is going to consume you and you will be, the, you will be a first-term uh, first president. Now to the youth of Kenya. A time has come when the youth of Kenya, Kenya must rise up and be patriotic and help us get rid of the deadwood. The Kideros of this world, the Johos of this world, the Rasangas of this world, and many of the rotten apples, including at the judiciary. And we can do it next year. Thank you. Miguna, Miguna. If I could just read a tweet from Dr. Andrew Sule, he says, in medical terms, Miguna, Miguna is the antidote for the Grand Mula. <laughs> And then you have a message from Jaka Kimba. You know who that is? Yes. Jaka Kimba says, our new year regards to Janyando. <laughs> That's a Raila man. Yes. <laughs> Silas. Yes. Yes. Oh, thanks for reminding me, man. Miguna, Miguna. Yes. You know, we, uh, we started this thing of giving out... Uh, why, why are you putting your mic away? Don't put your mic oh, away. Oh, 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 put it back okay, on. Okay, okay. Hey, I thought we... I thought it's we not over. Done. A T-shirt for you, man. When you go back to Canada, and it has to be D uh, TNA colors, eh? <laughs> Maybe I should run on TNA. Maybe you that should. That would be a good idea. Maybe you should. Yeah. Janyando. Maybe I should reform TNA and reform Nairobi. My <laughs> man, you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> Thank you. And you would take no prisoners, right? There's no need to take prisoners. No prisoners. There's no need. If you're dirty, you go down. You go. And there's no argument. And there's no vicious circle like Mutunga circle. No. They are running around. Did you see the the cartoon in the standard, I saw, I or saw. was it the nation I saw. of the horse running oh, around with the EACC? Oh. That's Mutunga. That's EACC. That's DPP. That's the police. That's all the institutions in this country. They are running around in circles. Ring a ring of roses. Yeah, we are tired of it. Janyando. Yes. Good to see you, my brother. Thank you. All the best. When you Thank come you. back, yes. You know the bench is open for you anytime. Thanks, my man. Miguna, Miguna. What a guest. What a show. <laughs> what I tell you, this man, he calls it each and every time without fear or favor. And that's what we keep saying, folks. We have to keep talking. Because the minute we stop talking is the minute we start fighting. And we do not want to go down that slippery slope. So Meguna provides that extra added strength, if you will, to keep us going. It's great to have him on the show each and every time. And by the way, you're trending at number one on Twitter. Oh, really? Miguna, Miguna. You should start paying me for that. <laughs> <laughs> My money is still at the court. I see. Can two, you, can, two million only? 2.2. And you are dealing with Kempinski? Can you imagine? I'm broke. You're dealing with mil uh, billionaires and you're talking of two million? You, they should jail you for that. <laughs> <laughs> they should jail you for being too poor. You know you can go to jail for being too poor? I am, I am the poor family member. But your case should end. Come on. Yeah. It's your judiciary. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow night, right here on JKL Inspiration Thursday, you're going to love this young lady. 
when she turned 21, listen to this, she was in college in the US. When she turned 21, she was working one night and her throat kind of just locked on her. The whole, she couldn't breathe, she couldn't talk, she couldn't do anything. Called 911, emergency came. They took her to hospital. She found out she had throat cancer. Age of 21. Several years on, she has beat the cancer. That's good. Congratulations. Written a book and wants to talk about it to all those cancer survivors because I think tomorrow is World Cancer Day. I think February 4th, yes. World Cancer Day. Yes. So, Liza Ngenye is my guest tomorrow talking about cancer and how you can beat it. You're going to love this amazing 26-year-old because she has a story to tell. And you can only get that kind of stuff right here. Nowhere else but right here on Kenya's television network, KTA. Keep tweeting at Koinanga Jeff. The hashtag, you know it. It's not Butros Butros. It's not Kabando wa Kabando. It's the man with the same name twice. Miguna, Miguna. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye. Hello, hello. <laughs> Good night. Good luck. God bless, God bless. <laughs> Thanks, Biguda. Yes. Good job, brother. Jeff Koinange Live, in association with Nivea Men Cool Kick Body Lotion and Deodorant. Real. What you wanna do? Play it cool. New Cool Kick Body Lotion and Deodorant from Nivea Men. It starts with you.